Pro. Hello again and welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Uh, just going to do another quick tutorial on the new Cubase 8 Pro. Uh, we're going to talk about render in place, which is a new feature in Cubase, which is phenomenal. Um, it's really going to help my production and everybody's um, way of working. It allows you to bounce down audio quickly, effectively, with or without effects. It's a genius uh, piece of kit and well deserved. I'm glad uh, Cubase have, have pulled the finger out and started doing lots of things that uh, make you much more productive a lot quicker. Uh, so here you have a little track. I'll just play you a little bit. And what we're going to do is bounce the bass down. So there you go, we've got a MIDI bass pass. And you can see here we've got uh, on the inserts, on the audio inserts, we have a Fab Filter Pro Q and a bit of compression. So if we go to Edit, Render in Place, I'm going to go to Render Setup. And what we've got here now is loads of different options of how we're going to render things down. So initially I'm going to do a dry. And what this does is it transfers the channel settings. So it's going to bounce the MIDI down into an audio track and it's actually going to apply the FabFilter Pro Q and the compressor onto the audio inserts of the new audio track. Amazing. Click OK. Renders it down. Creates a brand new audio track underneath. If we solo that, you can see here straight away it's put the FabFilter Pro Q and the compressor with all the same settings exactly from the MIDI channel. Sounds exactly the same. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. So let's remove that. Oh. And let's have another go. So we've selected it, edit, render in place. We're going to go render setup again. This time we're going, going to apply channel settings. Now what this does, uh, unlike the last one, uh, is it actually applies the compression, sorry, the EQ and the compression to the audio file once it's bounced down. So click OK. There you go, rendered a new audio file and you can see there's no audio inserts because it's actually applied the EQ and the compression straight away. Absolutely marvellous, so much fun, it allows you to um, bounce down loads of things in different ways. Uh, maybe let's say the beauty of this is you can bounce it down into audio and work with your audio without losing all your EQ and your compression settings. For me, that's that's just amazing. It's going to make production so much more easier and fun uh, because like, once you bounce your audio down, if you've applied too much EQ or compression or reverb, you know, you can't really take that back off. So brilliant. Well done. Um, let's get rid of that. Let's remove the selected track. So again, render in place. We'll click render setup and complete signal path. Now I'm presuming um, I haven't got this set up going through anything, but with this, the complete signal path, it'll go through the, uh, bounce it down onto an audio channel. If that audio channel was going to a group, uh, it'd then do that. And I'm presuming it also, uh, the signal path, if you were going to send effects, it'd put those on as well. And this last one is exactly the same as the one above. However, it, it um, any effects that you'd have on your master fader and so on etc it would bounce that down as well absolutely amazing um, this section you've got your file settings uh, which allows you to select the resolution of the bounce downs 16 bit 24 bit 32 bit float and your path would be your signal path to where the render goes to so there you go mine's gone into the uh, an audio file on a on another part of the hard drive so brilliant back to the render settings a uh, good thing about this as well is let's say you're bouncing this section down but you had reverb on it you can actually select how much tail size uh, you have on so you can do it in seconds or bars and beats so let's you know there you go click a few bars brilliant and then what that'll do is it'll bounce it down and allow it to have this tail as well so let's just do that just to see how it turns out There you go, it's bounce the audio down, 
and as you can see there it's extended it so that would be your reverb tail what a brilliant brilliant feature within Cubase like I said for me it allows me now to be able to bounce audio down uh, without having to put all the new effects on the new channel it's just quick it's productive a brilliant function within uh, new Cubase 8 so well done uh, I can't thank them enough for doing that I know that will be something I use every day so that's it uh, it is only a quick overview of some of the new features so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel so until next time bye bye Pro.